A Taipei University has developed a 3D printed brain model that lets surgeons practice their game plan before hitting the operating table. National Taiwan University of Science and Technology, also known as Taiwan Tech, spent four years creating a highly realistic replica of a brain. It looks and feels like the real thing, allowing doctors to practice their skills in a no-risk environment. Extracting a brain tumor is one of the most te technically difficult neurosurgical procedures. In the past, interns and resident physicians had to depend on donated cadavers for training. A bone drill is used to cut an opening in the skull. The brain is prized apart to reveal dark grey matter nestled inside pink soft tissue. This is the tumor that the surgeon is here to remove. This is a 3D surgical simulation platform developed by Taiwan Tech. It's a complete model of real brain tissue that lets doctors train before surgery. The model gives us an opportunity to practice. That's the first and most immediate benefit. We're more able to try new approaches when the psychological stress is not as great. In the past, interns and residents relied on donated cadavers for surgical practice. But since the start of the pandemic, it's been hard to get cadavers from abroad. And most people in Taiwan are not willing to become body donors. As a result, this simulator has become an important alternative for training. Everyone knows that with these statutory notifiable infectious diseases, patients who die from them should be cremated. It is indeed the reality that we now have fewer opportunities to import cadavers, and the cost is greater than before. On the simulator, the experience of cutting into normal brain tissue and extracting tumors feels at least 90 percent similar to the real thing. The simulation platform was developed by Taiwan Tech's Mechanical Engineering Department in partnership with Tri-Service General Hospital's Neurological Surgery Department. It takes one to three weeks to make one using 3D printing, mold design and casting technology. The developers spent nearly four years fine-tuning the design. So when that's all, just... At the time, I took 20 or 30 models and created a great deal of samples. I had the doctors touch them and look at them and tell me which ones were most similar to the real thing. Then I took the most similar samples and went from there. The similarity is quite sufficient. It allows them to complete the entire procedure and it improves their self-confidence during surgery. We also believe it will greatly improve patient safety. In terms of touch, color and appearance, it's nearly identical to brain tissue. It can also be customized to simulate different tumors. Developers hope the 3D model will be used by more medical students in the future.